Hey FlossTube, how you guys doing? It's Lori here, also known as Sharky Stitcher, on YouTube and on Instagram. We talk about cross-stitching hair, our addiction to it, shopping, the actual stitching, all that fun stuff. So come on in, it's a good time. I am trying something a little different with this video. Um, I took some vlog videos um, a week or so ago. Um, so I'm going to start inserting them here and we're going to do kind of a little vlog style of day. Usually with these videos, I'm just sitting talking to you guys like I am right now, but I'm going to throw in a couple little clips. Um, this is October 15th right now. These videos were taken a week and a half to two weeks ago. I did just get my hair cut yesterday, so my hair is going to be longer in some of the clips. So don't freak out. I haven't found some miracle hair growth serum or anything like that. These were in the past. So, but some of the videos you will see, um, Basically, after my last video, I was expecting some, you know, happy mail for the most part. So I showed you guys that. Um, I also planned a trip to Keepsakes, which is a cross stitch and needle workshop in Southeast Ohio. So I took a little trip there, went shopping for some stuff. So you guys will see that. Um, and then some more fun mail, I think, yes. And so I'll show you guys that. Um, some Halloween designs I'm planning on doing, I'll show you those. I got them all printed out and stuff like that. I've also since picked up the floss for a lot of them, though I must say the Joann's are mostly out of 740, which is an orange color. So I assume a lot of people are stitching pumpkins right now, perhaps. So, but anyways, I'm gonna show you those videos now. Um, let you guys watch those and then we'll pick back up right here and we'll catch up with some current things. I'm not the best at blog, vlog, vlogging, blogging. <laughs> um, so just to let you know, I'm a little bit awkward when I'm out in public with the camera. So I kind of hide. <laughs> I didn't do a lot of filming and keepsakes just because I didn't want to make a big deal out of it. I didn't want to like ask permission. Hey, can I film? I wasn't going to make a big, you know, taboo about it. I just wanted to go shopping, have a stitchy day of shopping, do some retail therapy. So I didn't really film a lot for it. So this is not like a review or, you know, a peek inside keepsakes or anything. It's more just, here's a bit of stitching fun I had and I vlogged it for you guys for the most part. So yeah, there's that. And um, so yeah, I will let you guys watch that stuff now and I will see you guys in a minute when we come back. Hey guys, thought I'd show you my one, two, three stitch order that arrived. So basically these are um, silk, not silk, chronic ribbon. And so they're real fat. Uh, let's see if I can show it to you. I haven't unraveled any of these yet, but it's, it's like a wide flat ribbon. I got them for this design here. So if you can see like the broom and like, she's got like a belt and there's some bows on her hat that's the ribbon used for it. But however, this one particular color, which is the called for one, I find it to be too autumnal. Hi baby, how are you? <laughs> I think she wants something. But uh, it's a little autumnal, you know, like, and uh, looking at the floss colors, like there's a lot of pink and stuff in here, but nothing that red. So I'm thinking I might try to replace this with a more like coral type color because that's what this looks like to me and that's in there in the hat and I think it's in her little sash sorry the glare is not helping so yeah I'm not not too keen on that one but the other ones look okay so I know this one's used in it this one's used and this one is used but this one I think I just ordered because I thought it looked pretty <laughs> it's like blues and greens and yeah, I always fancy switching colors up a little bit. So sometimes if I see a color that's pretty, I'm like, well, I might use that instead if I like it better because I like to do that. Okay, so this was a big part of the order. Um, basically, I got Miss Cleopatra. Been wanting to get her for a while. I love her. Um, the only thing I'm kind of torn on, which is, is going to be funny coming from me, is I'm not sure about her exposed midriff, <laughs> just because it's not a style that's uh, historically featured very much in Egyptian culture. Um, I do have a belly dancing background, and I don't know, 10 years ago, I'd be like, oh my god, hell yeah, but mm, for me, it's not really historically accurate. It's actually uh, the 1920s uh, Hollywood actors that kind of cause the bare midriff so it's definitely not a historical Egyptian attire but I still think she looks cool 
and people have been stitching her and I've been seeing her pictures on Instagram and she looked gorgeous. So I got all these silks for her. She's got a lot of silk and actually I need to get another one. So I made a shopping list for me and I'm planning on hoping to find these. I think it's that color there and um, hoping to go to keepsakes and see if I can uh, procure them. She also, um, I got her off one, two, three stitch and they have a feature there where when you click on like a chart, there's this little pull down where you can click on all the supplies and stuff. Well, these are all the metallics that she requires. Look at all those metallics. Now, actually, I think she needs more because I pulled these ones out of stash, but according to the chart, it calls for all number eight braid. And I said, hell no, because <laughs> I don't really like stitching with number eight braid. It's so thick. Um, I used it with, uh, I think there's one color in Mermaid of the Pearls that was that, that weight braid. And then there was for waiting for ships, she had a number eight braid and it just, oh, it's like stitching with barbed wire. So I thought, you know what? I'm just going to buy the number four braid in the same colors, you know, just to make my life easier, especially when there's that much of it. And I still don't know what fabric I'm going to use, but. I digress. Anyways. So yeah, I need to get another one of these silks. I think it's this color right here that I need another one. Hopefully the dye lots aren't too far off. But yeah, silks ain't cheap. So that was pretty much the bulk of the order was getting all these silks for her. So, and then I got, I can never resist myself with these little, little bits of fabric, especially when they're opalescent. That and I'm on a smalls kick and you know, the holiday season's upon us. So this one <laughs> was kind of an accident. Um, the non-accidental part is this is a piece of Da Vinci. The accidental part is that it's Lugana and I didn't notice that, but I still like it. And because it's, you know, an even weave, the color is a lot lighter than I'm used to seeing it, but it's still pretty. It's definitely kind of like a lilac, kind of a periwinkle almost. So I still like it. I'll probably use it for something. This is, this is all picture this plus, by the way, I tend to buy a lot of picture this plus off one, two, three stitch, just because <laughs> I'll get it quick. If I order from picture this plus directly, I won't see it for six months. So this is conifer. I had a piece of this. That's a little bit bigger, but I just really liked it. So I ordered another little small piece of it for maybe like some ornaments or some smalls. This one is a uh, Wren. And this was one that I'm kind of like tilting my head and squinting at on the website. And I'm like, would that be a good color for this project, this project, this project? So I just kind of ordered this itty bitty piece just so I could tell. And I'm glad I did because there's a project I was kind of considering it for and I think it's too kind of goldy colored. But this particular piece is going to be used and I will show you that in a second. This piece is pretty. This is Harold, I think. Yeah, Harold. Harold Belfast. But I like that. It kind of reminds me of Fathom a little bit. Yeah, so it's like a dark kind of hunter green, I guess you'd say. So then I got this piece of silk and this was the only color I was missing for Quaker Gone Haunted. So this design, there's the fabric I'm doing it on and there's all the other threads. So this was the only thread I was missing. So yay, got that ready to rock and roll. And then I just really like this design. I don't have any Barbara Anna's yet. And when I saw this one, I was just like, uh, he'll be my first because it, it's kind of goofy and cute and it's small. And I told you I'm on a small cake. So I ordered these threads. There's one that's missing, but it's funny. This again, like when I was ordering this design, I kind of just scrolled real quick through the materials. I skimmed over all the DMC and the Mill Hill beads and stuff because I'm going to convert Mill Hills and went straight for like the speciality, but I didn't really read exactly what the speciality threads were. And I'm like, oh, if I knew it was this stuff, I'd have just gone to Joann's and picked it up because that's what I can do. But they're out of, there's a red color. I think it's like maybe in like, oh, crap, freaking glare. I think it's in the leaves or something. Colors on here. Yeah, it's that Chilean sunset color that I'm missing. So, but yeah, and that is what I'm going to stitch this on. So that'll be fun. Starting it soon? Hmm, not sure. I do want to start a lot more Halloween stuff, so that is possible. 
Um, real quick, I thought since I've got you in kind of an up close, um, almost drool with me style, I'll give you guys a little bit of a better look at the Hawaiian Garden kit. Woohoo! So, here's a better look at the beads at least. Do, 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 do. Yep, those are fun. There's the crystals. This one uses uh, 48 jet crystals. So those are those kind of peacocky blue-green ones that you're seeing on the, the right here. Now, I do think I'm going to do something about these cubes here. Uh, the color's Montana, which is okay in smaller beads, but in these bigger ones, like right now that's showing because of the light, but usually when you get it on a design, they just look black. So I'm thinking... It calls for this Vitrol heart crystal. Maybe I'll just get these crystals. I think these eight or 10 millimeter. Hang on, I got a tool over here I can measure it with. Ha -ha. So let's see. These are, looks to be, yeah, that's an eight millimeter. Okay, so yeah, eight millimeter, and I'll probably just try and get it in the Vitrol color. Because like I said, I feel like when it's this dark of a color, it just doesn't show up. It just looks black. So it's like, what's, what's the point of it being a color? And I don't know. I don't know where it's at in the design. Maybe it's surrounded by black. So maybe that'll make the bluer tint of it stand out. I don't know. We'll see. But that's just what I'm thinking with that. Is I'll probably replace those. Okay, and let me pull the silks out. This one is heavy, which is... This is an expensive kit, let me tell you. Hang on, use my legs for a pair of hands. There we go, since my other hand's holding the camera. But yeah, lots of silk. I love this one, this one looks cool. That's pretty. That's her. You guys usually can hear her but not see her, so yay. Ooh, there's two skeins of this one. Nice, ooh, like that one. The SNCs are a lot different um, this way. I'm used to them being all twisted up, but they're a lot softer this way, so that's kind of nice. Oh, two skeins of this one too, maybe three. Okay, just two. It's a pretty color though. Ooh, I like this because it's almost like a pearl thread. Gum leaves, that's a dark color. Ooh, this is a, she uses this color a lot, I like it. I think it's cool. I think it was in Taj Mahal. Some more greens. She uses that color a lot too. And that one. And that one. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing Taj Mahal again. This color wasn't in it though. <laughs> it's pretty. It's a very vivid blue. She uses this one a lot too. Yeah, just giving you guys a better look at it because some of you guys might be interested in chatelaines but i know the cost is kind of a thing so maybe if you see what actually you're getting maybe that'll help that and it is fun just to pick through all these isn't it sometimes i do that when i'm bored and i don't feel like stitching i just kind of <laughs> browse through my kits and look at the yummies and sometimes that gets me in the mood to stitch so eh. All right, we're back where we started. So yeah, this thing is heavy. So yeah, that's an expensive one. Again, that's Hawaiian Garden by Chatelaine Designs. Good morning, guys. Plans for today, I'm, it's my day off, so I'm frumping it up right now. And I'm thinking of going to a yoga class and then heading to Keepsakes. Uh, I don't think it should be too far of a drive from there, but um, yeah, gonna do some shopping, get some Halloween-y stuff. Um, I got a little shopping list, some blending filaments, some silks and stuff like that that I need to get. Um, I might take my niece's sampler and see about getting it framed because I would like to at the very least give it to her at Christmas. Hi, baby. Yeah. Usually when I film, she's asleep because she is noisy if she hears me talking. And 
she's very oral fixated, so I can't always have her with me during the videos, especially when I'm like handling stuff. So I thought I'd just have her in here so you guys can see her. She got itchy face. You got itchy face, little baby. Yeah, baby. The puppy's in here too, as usual. But yeah, just drinking my coffee, gonna go do some yoga, and then we're gonna go to keepsakes. So guess what I just realized I forgot? I forgot the sampler for my niece that I was looking at getting framed. So that sucks, but one thing that's making me feel better about that is my smoothie. Ah, this is a mermaid smoothie. It's got spirulina, which is what makes it the weird blue-green color. Uh, peaches, pineapple, nut milk, some other things. I can't remember all of it, but it's good. Um, I'm kind of okay, I guess, because I had just uh, map quested um, keepsakes. I thought it was gonna be a little bit closer from here, but it's actually, you know, it's a little bit further. So I guess it's for the best because if I take my sampler there to get framed, it's going, you know, I'm gonna have to go pick it up, you know? So I might, I, there's a few small needle workshops around here, um, you know, that I that are closer, that I could take her it there to get it framed. So that's probably the best idea for now, but still I'm gonna go shopping for some halloween -y stuff. That and just, I don't know, you always hear about keepsakes and stuff, so I just wanna check it out. So that's what I'm gonna do. So come along guys, it'll be fun. I don't know how much filming I'll be able to do because I'm kinda awkward about that whole thing, <laughs> but I'll try. Uh, that's all I can do for you guys is I will try. We're here and the sun came out and now it's hot again, so that's fun. Um, welcome to Ohio. <laughs> Anyways, I'm not sure if I'm gonna film in here, we'll see. Um, do need to mask up to go in, which that's one reason why this impromptu visit uh, is something that, not really impromptu, but I pretty much decided I needed to come because when they posted on their Facebook group that they were requiring masks because the coronavirus cases are going up, which they are in Ohio, uh, some people were all like, well, since you're having this rule, I'm not going to shop there no more. And it's like, well, that's your right and everything. Um, but since you said that, I'm going to make a special trip. So <laughs> yeah, you want to be snarky? Let's play snarky. So anyways, I'm gonna go in and do some perusing and we'll see what I'm able to show you guys. Now it's looking like fall. <laughs> it poured down rain while I was in there. So, oh, see, I even got blingy singing off my rearview mirror. But yeah, that was fun. Okay, guys, just got back from keepsakes. I will show you guys that in a minute. But first, I got some fun mail, and this is from eBay. This is a fabric seller that I get stuff off from a few times. And I know you can just post things on the screen, but I uh, can't be bothered when it comes to tech stuff. So, here's her page. She has lots of yummy goodness. Yeah, I really like her stuff. Uh, she sells lots of kinds and it's all pretty much like solos and things. Uh, she does sometimes repeat colors, but it's oftentimes on a wide variety of fabrics. Let's just go to her page here real quick. And never mind all the delicas down there. Stuff is happening. <laughs> but yeah, I still got some of these saved too. Like, oh, she has fun colors. She's been doing opalescence too. So yeah, that's got me all excited. Yeah, lots and lots of stuff. And her stuff arrives quickly because this stuff has already died. You don't have to wait for her to dye it or anything. And yeah, I really like it. So go back to her name again, just so you guys can see it. Uh, it's one of those names that doesn't make say, sense. K Sento Ken T. Um, it's crazy hamster now, apparently though. So let's get this stuff open. Never mind the Miss Shiver. Uh, this is from 
Oh, that's the pile of stuff for Hawaiian Garden. There's Hawaiian Garden. There's a bunch of Delicas. There's the haul I have yet to put away because I just showed it to you guys. And that's a bunch of floss that I need to sort. There's my sewing machine in the corner because I'm afraid of it. There's all my candle haul. Got these from Witch City Wicks. These are amazing candles. It's a place in Salem. That's where I got them at the first time. So I've been ordering them. They have some really fun Halloween uh, candles that smell really good. So that's what all that is over there. So let's take a look at this here. So I'm gonna try and do this one handed. Let's see how it goes. Can't remember what all I got. Local <laughs> Okay, so this one is a 36 count linen, 18 by 27. Look at it, isn't it pretty? Oh my God, it's so purple. It's that bluey purple that I really love too. Oh, I love it. So yeah, nothing really in mind for it. Just saw it and was like clicky clicky, it's mine now. This one is not opalescence, but it's really pretty. It's very earthy. My dog's winding around my legs right now. So yeah, this is a uh, 32 count linen, 18 by 27. Crazy hamster. <laughs> and another opalescent. This one is 36 count. For some reason she was doing a bunch of 36 count linens. This one's about the same color as the one I just showed you, only it's opalescent. You guys know I am a sucker for some opalescence. I was proud of myself for only getting three pieces because <laughs> I've been known to get like four or so at a time. But yeah, I think of this batch, um, I'll fold these proper when I have another hand again. <laughs> I think that one's for sure my favorite there. And hmm, something Halloween-y would be nice on there. Hmm, we'll see. I'll get back with you later. Coffee, 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 coffee. Good morning, guys. It's the next day. Um, I, st I still need to show you my haul from Keepsakes. I um, took a bath after filming the last clip yesterday and got really sleepy. So, he. <laughs> but anyways, here's one thing I got. Um, Sherbert SNC. I don't need this for anything, but I just thought it was really pretty. And I love how SNC is keeping the silks like this now instead of twisting them because they're so much softer and it's less of a pain to iron them. So, I got that. Got this, um, which is funny because I've seen this on Coco Hamas Stitchery. Um, Rosia has stitched this. I've been wanting to do a Biz Cornu and I saw this there and I thought I looked at the chart and I'm like, it'd be super easy for me to change the bird colors to look like my bird. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. And you might hear her in the background, by the way, because she's up right now. Everybody's up. This was kind of like I'd seen this before and I was like oh you know that's cute but they had a stitched up version <laughs> and they had it on a um over dyed fabric and it looked really cool and yeah, it's only $1.25 so like why not so I decided to get it I love that everybody looks so freaked out in this picture like the ghost is tripping the moon's like what the fuck the pumpkin's like oh my god so <laughs> I kind of like how everybody's freaked out this I thought was super cute this long skinny pumpkin what I liked about this little design is it's small, but it kind of encompasses just so much about Halloween. You know, it's got the fall thing, the date, the pumpkins, the ghosts, the leaves, all that fun stuff. It just looked like fun. So I got that one. Got a couple itty bitty pieces of fabric just because I could not resist. And I think they might work for some of these guys here. Like I think this one might be good for this. So a couple little scrappy scraps of fabric. Another little scrappy scrap, which one nice thing, Stephanie surged this for me. Um, it was raw edged and she surged it and everything and her handwriting really nice too. But I thought that was nice. This, I just, I'm not really a primitive person, but I like the witchiness. <laughs> um, most of what I got is kind of witchy, so. And of course they had a stitched up version and stitched up versions blow my skirt way up more than like a picture. <laughs> Cause oh gosh, it's like, I just, I wanna buy everything. And then I have to like slap myself around mentally and be like, are you really gonna stitch that? And that I probably will. This one <laughs> kind of cracks me up a little bit. It's one of the things that's like so dumb that I just had to do it. That and he just, I don't know, looks so happy with his little wings. So they had um, a cow wearing a devil costume. And then they had chickens, I can't remember what they were wearing, but they were kind of pixelated and everything. And I like this one just cause the image is really clear and that's obvious what it is. 
Then I got these girls, witchy, witchy, witchies. Again, I'm not really big into primitives, but I like the witch stuff, so I do fancy hanging some primitive style witchy things in my kitchen. This one I've been wanting to get for a minute, and again, I'm probably gonna leave her wings off and just have her hair, you know, blowing around back here, just because the wings are a little weird, I think. But they did have a stitched up version of this, and I can probably show you that. Um, it's got a lot of really pretty beads and sparkly and someone had been stitching this um, I'd seen on Instagram and I'd been like ooh I need to get that one because that's cool so don't know fabric yet wise what I'm gonna do for her yet and then this <laughs> I love this Burt Reynolds skeleton I'd seen this before too and I just decided I'm gonna get that and I think I'm gonna stitch the skeleton over one just because I feel like when I stitch with white I feel like my stitches never look very neat and the coverage is kind of wet so I think I'm gonna stitch the skeleton over one maybe with glow-in-the-dark threads I don't know I haven't decided yet I don't know fabric wise what this one's gonna get either but yep so that's my haul I'm proud of myself I kept it under a hundred dollars and uh, yeah it didn't get too too much but I got some fun stuff um, got me some Halloween-y stuff. Yeah. So, that's the haul there. Um, oh, a few other things I'm going to show you real quick. I got these pulled for some other charts. So, another thing I was doing yesterday was printing stuff. And I was printing my Halloween clump from Shannon Christie Designs. These you can still get. I had signed up for the subscription. Um, to get each of these, um, there's eight of them. Or, well, eight. There's two there's four sets of two so eight eight designs total and if you signed up for the subscription you could get each of them they bill you once a month for eight dollars now I think that the they're all given out they're all uh, ten dollars each but yeah they're all the kinds of the same kind of color family and they're all Halloweeny and they're so cute and I do I like all of them I think I'm gonna do this one first just because I love the little the little witch and the little dinosaur. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna do that one first if you like that one too. Um, I like these witchy ones here. I like the Happy Halloween. Which way to the candy? I like that. I'm like, I don't know, I just like all of them. And it was funny, I went through all my threads to see what I had in stash and basically black and B5 200 and this color were the only ones I had so I'm gonna have to go shopping but what's nice about these is they all use the same color so having a full skein of all the colors is probably gonna be useful because I, I do think I'll probably stitch all of them eventually okay and then I was doing more printing <laughs> for more Halloweeny stuff because I'm in the mood I'm gonna tell you okay so this one I've had him for a little bit um, I bought him pretty quick after he came out leshy um, Guardian of the Woods. This is by Witchy Stitcher. I love him because he reminds me of a Wendigo and he's kind of creepy. He's got like these mushrooms coming out of him and stuff. Um, I had ordered him but not printed him yet just because I was out of printer ink and um, Julie from Kansas City Girl in a Colorado World had posted a picture of hers and I had been thinking for my fabric, I'm like, probably like a, a, a gross, sick looking green or something. And she had posted hers on this green. It's by um, x Designs called Elixir. And I was like, oh my God, I love it. And she had posted it months ago. And I've been looking at x Designs for that fabric just because I really like it. Um, I don't have it yet, but it's on the way. Um, so I had to watch um, Witchy Stitcher, not Witchy Stitcher, um, <laughs> x Designs. Etsy page forever and finally she reposted the uh, elixir so I ordered me some I got it in 36 count but I'm okay with that there's not like a bunch of beads or stuff on this that and the few pieces I've bought of 36 count I'm like oh it's not as tiny teeny tiny as I, I was thinking it was gonna be so I cannot wait to get that fabric I feel kind of bad for like copying a fabric someone else is using but it's just like too perfect and I had been looking for other fabrics and then I was like no I, I want the elixir <laughs> so then printed off this one same thing witchy stitcher stitcher hots here you can get this in two colorways she has it in this color version and there's like a monochromatic version i really like the color version because there's you know, purple and orange in it so um fabric probably like a gray or something something maybe on the dark side not too dark because of all the black in the house but probably like some kind of a gray because if i do it on purple 
you know, the purple's gonna blend in. If I do it on green, the coffins are gonna blend in. So probably like a gray, probably opalescent too, because the stitcher that haunts here likes sparkly things. So <laughs> just thought that was appropriate. So anyways, there's that update. Welcome back guys. It is now back to the present. You're back with future Lori or current Lori, I guess you would say now, because you guys are technically watching this in the past anyways. So, but picking up from the keepsakes video and all the stuff that I was showing you, I do want to say when I went to keepsakes, I had kind of a shopping list for some blending film, not blending film, it's braids and some silks and stuff. They didn't have any in stock, so I ordered them. And there's a few other little things I ordered. I tried to put like little tags on the things that I ordered and, and, and whatnot, all that fun little stuff. So, but catching you up, it has been a minute since I filmed. I was intending on like doing like a vlogoween thing and posting like a video every week, but regular life non-stitchiness kind of got in the way of that, especially this past week. So, um, I decided I would just do it as my usual pretty much every two weeks and I would just put it out that way. I don't know if I'm vlogging next time. It just kind of depends on how the week goes. Um, that first week it just happened that I had kind of some new significant stitchy thing happening day to day so vlogging felt okay because usually when I shoot these videos I collect everything and then just bleh you know when the video comes out or when I shoot the video so I just tried to do something a little different so I hope you guys liked it but let's bring it back to the present so I have gotten some new fabrics in the time being since um, let's go into one that I kind of showed you guys already and I mentioned it Leshy of the Woods. Told you guys I like him because he looks like a Wendigo, which is kind of a cryptid type character or a, uh, I believe it's a Native American type creature. And I told you guys I had got a piece of elixir. Well, it has arrived and let me show it to you. Ooh, I love it. I think it's perfect for him. Here's the floss. I am missing like a few colors. I can't remember which ones, but I think he's gonna look super cool in this. And I don't think I need all of this for him. I think I can actually cut this fabric in half and maybe have enough to do some Halloween stuff on there. But yeah, I was so excited when I finally got this piece of elixir because when I saw um, Kansas City Girl in a Colorado World stitching this on it, I'm like, it's just perfect. And this was exactly kind of like what I was thinking, kind of a gross swampy green. And I love all the spots and speckles on this because that kind of really pushes that forward. Let's see, what count is this? I think this is maybe 32 count. No, it's 36 count. So he's he's gonna be a little bit, the stitches are gonna be smaller, but I think that'll be good. There's no beads or anything like that on this, so it won't be a problem. So that's something I wanna start soon. I've got all these piles everywhere of like Halloween design, Halloween design, spooky design, spooky design. I probably am not gonna start all of them right away. And I am kind of asking myself like, Sometimes I will be in the mood, ooh, Halloween, pull out all this Halloween stuff, not start all of it, but then Halloween goes, and then the desire to stitch Halloween goes, and then I have all this stuff kind of laid around, and I'm like, should I really just kind of do process of elimination and pick something and start it? Um, probably, but for the most part, my current project, Autumn Dusk, is taking up most of my time because I am almost finished with it. I have one motif left to do and I am done. And I really wanna finish it in autumn. Um, I wanna finish it more specifically in October because basically the end of October is kinda like the end of autumn in Ohio. Autumn does not last long here. We kinda go straight into winter from there. So, um, but I will show you guys that in a little bit, but I feel like I need to finish that before I start a bunch of new Halloween stuff. I do definitely need to start a few pieces just to get it out of my system that and I told you guys I've been on a small kick lately and I've been enjoying doing small stuff because you get happy dances with it who does thought you know <laughs> so anyways here's another piece of fabric I got and this one might take you guys by surprise a little bit but I found this on uh, Etsy and there's a design I thought of when I saw it and so I got it Look at that, isn't that cool? This is by uh, Lapin Loops, L-A-P-I-N Loops, hand dyeing linens and more. So they have an Etsy shop. This is a 32 count piece of Belfast. It's called Summertime. And I just looked at that and the first design I thought of was 
Gaia. Now I do think her colors are kind of similar, but her dress is yellow and this fabric is mostly green. So I think the yellow dress will pop out. I think these little splashes of color will pick up with the flowers in like her dress and her shawls and all that. And the green in this is more of a kind of a, kind of a honeydew melon green. And this is more kind of a chartreuse green. So I think the greens will still stand out. I don't have the floss for her. So I will decide when I get the floss and do the toss if we're going to have problems because I, I like the piece to match the fabric, but not to the point where it just kind of blends in. I do like things to pop a little bit. So if these colors are too matchy matchy, I won't be doing this on it, but I did still think it was a really cool piece. Even if it doesn't work for that, I will find something that works for that. I love the modeling. My only issue is huh, I always have a hard time deciding which way because I love this little sploosh here of purples so i kind of want to put that where stitching is not going to cover it and it also depends too like which way i have the fabric you know maybe the purple lands in front of her face or you know maybe it highlights her head so i'm trying to decide which way it should go if i'm going to use it but yeah i thought this was cool and again this was a designer on etsy and the piece was already dyed ready to go so once i ordered it i got it pretty quickly so, but I thought that was cool. So there's that. I'm not sure when I'm starting her. I've got a lot of stuff I want to start. So yeah. Um, speaking of things I want to start, another Bella Filipina. Showed you guys this last time, but I think I have decided on fabric since I showed her to you last. And I did make a post on my Instagram for this um, with the floss toss. So this one is Temptress of the Cursed Sea. She's on this dark orange. This is Jack-O-Lantern by um, Fiberlicious Yummy Fibers. I do like the fabric, but I didn't really like it for her. I was thinking of something that looked a little bit more sea-like, but like not aqua, like tainted sea. And then I got the threads. Aren't those cool? And I did have this piece of purple. I don't think I actually, yeah, here it is. Um, I had this piece and I was kind of thinking about it, but I'm like, you know, I mean, it's kind of close to the purples. It's cool, but it doesn't really evoke like a cursed sea to me because it is a very delicate, dainty purple. But then same designer, this is um, Crazy Hamster. Uh, she has a, um, eBay store basically. I've mentioned her many times in my videos. And this is a 36 count, so is this piece. Um, this is by that same designer. And this is some of the mail that I had gotten um, later. And so I got this piece. And this is a very, it's, I would say it's dark gray purple. Like it, it's showing up pretty true to color there. I mean, there is one gray color that's gonna blend a little bit, but I think it'll be fine because of where it is. I think it's usually around the black and the black stands out just fine. But I love how the turquoise pops on here because I kind of wanted that to pop and the purple stand out really nice. So I think this is the piece that I'm going to use for her. So let me just kind of give you guys a preview, which again, I, I did a floss toss on my Instagram. So that place might suit you better for looking at this, but then you don't see all the glittery sparkliness. Now what I like is the colors in the fabric are kind of a very dark gray purple, but the sparkles are kind of the green color. So I feel like they'll go really well with all that. Yeah, I think that's gonna look cool. I'm excited about that. I do still need to pick up a metallic. I ordered one of those at Keepsakes. I will be converting the beads as well. So I think I'll be stocking up on some more black type because there's a lot of black colored beads in here. Some of these I may use, like these number eight glass beads. I might not be able to find a Delica like that. That, and it's hard to tell. These might be supposed to be pearls. So sometimes when they're supposed to be pearls, I don't like to use Delicas because they're more of a square cylindrical shape and I want more of a curved pearl shape. So, but yeah, I'll probably be converting these. Um, some of the treasures, I don't know if you guys can see those. They look kind of kind of green which I don't know, maybe it'll work, but 
We'll see. I'm, I'm thinking I might need to dip into my stash, which I'll probably add crystals to her anyways, just because I like doing that. But yeah, I think this color is going to look really good for her. So now that I have kind of the fabric sorted, I think I have all the floss and I'm just missing on the one braid. I might count her as a Halloween start because like she's kind of a spooky mermaid and it is spooky season. So why not? So I might start her pretty soon. She needs to get a, a container. I usually keep my whips in plastic tubs so I can keep all my stuff. And then when I'm done, I kind of file it away on my little cube thingy. So there's that. Hmm. Okay, next, how about we look at my new clay by Kins. So, um, story time, I guess. The last time I guys I spoke with you, I think there was a listing getting ready to go and she was posting the pumpkins and I was super excited because pumpkins, hello, and I'd never seen her do pumpkins before. So, long story short, I got one. I also got a fall leaf dragon. I already got a fall acorn harvest dragon and they look kind of similar. I'll go ahead and put them side by side. You will see they are fairly similar, but they're, they're different enough that I, I still like having both of them because the acorn one doesn't really have leaves on it. So I kind of wanted an autumn leaf dragon too. So basically I got the pumpkin and the leaf one at the same time. But there they are, aren't they cute? I love the little curly Q thingy that the pumpkin has. I think that's super cute. And yeah, it's a pumpkin dragon, hell yeah. That one's got a little leaf on his head. And see, this is the one that's kind of similar to it, but it's got an acorn, it's got the wheat. It's got red, this one doesn't have any red in it, which is kind of a bummer. I kind of like how the red looks. So, but yay, got those. Here's what the backs look like, in case you were wondering. But yeah, I'm super happy I got a pumpkin. I was like so nervous because I'd never seen her do pumpkins before. And I was like, heck yeah. Actually, I'm not gonna put these back on because then I can show you guys my whip. It's so close to being done, I can almost taste it. But we are not done with Clay by Kim's because that was two weeks ago. <laughs> Last week, she posted the spider dragons, which I was very excited for those because they're creepy and I like it. So, um, and then before she did that listing, I sent her a message inquiring about some former needle miner she had done, which was cauldrons, witches cauldrons. And I just asked, you know, hey, a few years back, saw you did some witches cauldrons and was just wondering if they were gonna make a comeback. Because she also, used, I think it's a mold that she uses to make the cauldrons, because I've seen the same cauldron used for like a pot of gold at um, St. Patrick's Day. She didn't do those this year. And I had thought maybe to message her about those because those are cute and they're on my hit list. I have like a Clay by Kim hit list over here. So I'd wanted one of those, but I didn't say anything at the time. But then when we got to this time of year, I thought, you know, I really want a cauldron. So I'm just gonna ask. And she responded and said, um, basically she might make a small batch and then like, oh, I think I might have some of those bubbles somewhere. Well, when she said that, I thought of this particular um, bead thing that she's put on a few other ones. And I, I remembered her using it in the cauldrons. Well, then she posted the screenshot of the spider dragons and those little bubble things were on there. And I thought she found the bubbles. So when she does this listing, are there going to be cauldrons? And I thought, oh crap, because I wanted a spider, but then I definitely wanted a cauldron. And then I, you know, I thought if I asked for cauldrons and she makes them, I feel like I should try and get one, <laughs> you know, like, so the listing goes up. And I had kind of decided ahead of time, I'm like, I really want one of the spiders. So I'm gonna go for it, you know, and just hope. But once you know it, one of the first things I see are cauldrons and I thought, oh shit. And I just kind of, as I passed them, whispered to them, babies, I'm coming back for you, wait for mama. 
<laughs> so I went, I found myself a spider, grabbed it, managed to win it. And then I made a beeline straight back. Like I didn't even go through to see if there was anything else. Cause you know, sometimes she surprises us with different things, but I went straight back for a cauldron. I think I tried to get one and it failed. And then I came back out and there was one left. I remember it was the very first one. And I thought, oh shit, the first one. Just, and I managed to get it. And I'm super excited because it is so cute. So here's my spider dragon and my little cauldron. They're so cool. So yeah, these are the little bubble thingies that she was talking about, or what I assumed she was talking about. And there's one on the spider dragon too. And I think this web is like laser cut uh, and it's kind of cool. It's got kind of a blue sheen to it. But I love the purple cast on the dragon. The wings are really cool. They're translucent. They look like webs. So that is so cool. I don't have anything like this in my collection, so that's really cool. Here's what the backs look like. Very spooky. But this cauldron is just so cool. Like, it looks so bubbly and delightful. <laughs> so, yeah. New clay by cans. I'm so happy I got those. Um, she just posted the, um, there was like some night ravens. I wasn't too keen on them though. Like they're cool, but I'm definitely more for the dragons. And I just want some more spooky Halloween stuff. I did manage to grab a spooky tin, kind of spooky. It was like a night raven tin and a little leaf cluster thingy. So, but I left the, the ravens alone cause they just, they just weren't my, my thing. So left those. Um, don't know what she's doing next though. So we'll have to wait. I'm hoping she does some more cool spooky Halloween stuff. Cause yeah. Oh, and speaking of needle miners, I did get one from a non play by Kim. This is from Agnes's little, little minders. Let me go ahead and use this card here. She's from the UK and she does polymer clay needle miners and, um, her stuff's cute. It's not quite, I don't like it as much as clay by Kim, but it is super cute. And I decided I wanted to get one and she had posted, um, this, design and I thought well that one's cute and her stuff goes fast not as fast as clay by Kim but definitely fast so I went to the listing like just kind of casually just to see what was left and wouldn't you know what the one I wanted was left so yay this little purple and blue sparkly bat isn't he so cute I love his little teeth his little teeth and his sparkly Swarovski crystals there I think he's super cute he is kind of wide so I haven't been using them on my current project because it's pretty small. So, but yeah, I just thought he was cute. I don't think I'm going to be collecting her because again, I, I, I have a hard enough time collecting clay by cams. I do not need another listing to like be setting an alarm for. <laughs> so with that done, I'll go ahead and show you guys my whip since I've cleared it. Well, let's take one more off. I got my sunflower dragon on there too this guy because he looks fallish so I'll go ahead and show you guys where I'm at with my autumn dusk and let me go ahead and unroll it for you guys because I'm at the very top now now this is the section um, let me see okay here's a chart that's too blown out for you guys to see anything so there's two squirrels here I don't like squirrels so I'm not stitching them there's this little hedgehog he's taking their place and then I have a bead that's gonna go here so I'm working on this part here. Everything below this is done. There's like five like motifs and I have finished four of them. And I think the one I'm stitching is gonna go pretty quick, except for probably when I hit the uh, hedgehogs, just because I'm gonna have to rechart stuff. And I'm lazy. I will not take the time to do a computer program and rechart something. I am just going to eyeball stuff and stitch it down because I'm lazy. <laughs> oh, this is gonna take a minute here. So I don't think you guys have seen the bottom unless you've looked on my Instagram. I do think I posted a picture on it there. <sighs> rolling for days, rolling for days. It's good pec workout though. Okay, I'm gonna show you the bottom first just cause you guys haven't seen that part yet. And I need to unroll some more, hang on. Yep, there we go. Okay. So here's the bottom and I did switch up some of the crystals. Um, I used fire opal AB here instead of this brown color. 
I do like these little satin stitched acorns. And then here's the acorn bit. And there's the central motif, little flowers and zita. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So yeah, this is gonna be a decent sized bell pull, you know, like it's pretty big. Like when you look at it on the screen, it doesn't look that big, but yeah, look, look how big. Now this fabric count is um, kind of bigger. So that's probably why, but I don't think, if I would have, if I stitch any of the other seasons, which I'm not hardcore gunning for, but if I stitch any of the other seasons, I will probably choose a different type of fabric. This fabric was the recommended and I really like the color. So I managed to find me some, I don't think it's available anymore, but I like the color. So I decided to track it down. I had to track it down over in Europe. And I believe it's like, kind of like a 14 count for the most part. It's pretty big. Definitely no issue with beads crowding, <laughs> but um, it's a little too big for me. Um, my coverage is decent. And I'm happy with it, but I just, I kind of like smaller and smaller as in the stitch size smaller. Cause you know, the smaller the stitches are, the higher the number is. So, but I'm enjoying it and I'm tasting a finish. I just got to finish this top part and we're done. This is basically at the top right here. So that's, that's it. And we'll be done. And since I'm so close, I've pretty much decided that's all I'm stitching on for now. I would like to start something small, like maybe that little, that little ghost thingy I bought from Keepsakes. Um, but for now, focusing, finishing this, checking another Shadlane off the list so I can at least say I had a Shadlane finished this year. That's another thing. I was reviewing my 2020 Whip Parade and while I'm watching it, I'm looking at some of those pieces I was showing there and I'm like, I have not touched them all year. And I said in that video, I hope to finish it in 2021. <laughs> so I feel kind of bad. But then I also, I started a lot of projects. Like I wasn't planning on starting <clears throat> Tribal or get, you know, G Word Queen this year. And I got a lot of progress done on her. Like I could finish her if I wanted to. Um, I got a lot of work done on some Bella Filipinas that I wasn't expecting to start, you know, cause made in a tubataha. She came out, I bought her and started her, you know, and I got her a good bit started on her. So, um, while I didn't finish things I wanted to, I did get stitching done. So what I've been looking at lately is, okay, what do I want to finish before the end of this year? You know, so I definitely need to finish a mermaid. So. I'm thinking the mermaid I'm the closest to is Renaissance Mermaid by Mirabila. That and she was one of those on my 2020 whip parade where I was, I hope to finish her, you know, next year. So I might pick her and focus on her. I also need to pick up a few more Chatelaine, the large size mandalas, just because like some of them I said I wanted to finish this year and I didn't even stitch on them. So I need to do something with them. You know, if I can't finish it, I need to at least like strike border or something with them. Um, there's several other shadow lanes I want to get started. So I'm trying to whittle down how do I want to spend the last couple months of this year. I know it's not a big deal, you know, like if I start something, whatever, but you know, I've been letting new projects distract me a lot, such as, you know, Bella Filipina mermaids <laughs> because they've been putting out some really good stuff this year. So it's been very distracting for me. So I'm just going to whittle down what I want to get done. I definitely need to do a mermaid, you know, a mermaid needs to get done. I really should finish a Bella Filipina mermaid. Um, uh, what's the one whose name I always screw up? Um, Maiden of Atlantis. It's the one where she's holding a trident. Something of Atlantis, daughter of Atlantis. I can't remember, but I need to pull her out and get some good work on her because I remember how much I loved her fabric when I watched that um, whip parade there. I was like, oh man, I need to pull her out and work on her. And that and she was the first Bella Filipina, Bella Filipina, I started. So she should be the first one I finish, right? But I don't know. Maiden of Tubataha is really fun, and she's on an opalescent, so that makes me want to stitch her more. <laughs> so, but anyways, I think that's it for now. 
I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing the vlog style for the next video, but I definitely will probably put out another video before, you know, the end of Halloween just because it's spooky season. So, and hopefully I will have a finish for this to show you. I'm thinking I could probably finish it this week. Thinking. Um, but then I'm going to pick up something else and give it some attention to because I've been on this pretty much all of October for the most part. Um, I do want to start some other spooky Halloween designs, but we'll, we'll see where we get with that. So I'm not putting too much stress on myself. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this vloggy type, vlogoween type video. So um, I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.